Last week on DNews, we talked about how the rent is too damn high. And now scientists are saying, eat healthy food, add that to the list of too damn high. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. Amidst the research and debate about obesity in America, the question of how much healthy food actually costs keeps resurfacing. We talked before on D News about some of the ways that obesity is more complicated than simply eating healthier, but there's no doubt that America has one serious nutrition problem. To solve the obesity puzzle, scientists are asking, is healthy food something that's available to everyone? Using meta-analysis from 27 large studies, researchers at the Harvard School of Public Health compared the cost of a healthy diet with lots of vegetables, fruit, and lean meat to an unhealthy diet composed mainly of processed foods, lots of grains, and meat. The cost for the healthier diet was about 50 cents more per meal for an average of $1.50 more per day. Multiply that by one year and a healthy diet costs about $550 more per year per person or $2,200 more per year for a family of four. The researchers also looked at the price per calorie and found that getting 200 calories from junk food was usually cheaper than getting 200 calories from a healthy option. So maybe 550 sounds like a lot, maybe it doesn't sound so bad. The affordability of that number obviously depends on how much a person makes. About 12% of American adults and 36 of America's children live in poverty. So for a family living in this bracket, which is around $25,000 a year or less, Adding $2,200 to the food bill is obviously a lot, but for a family making between 80 to 100K per year, $2,200 probably doesn't sound so bad. The research team says that this illustrates how access to healthy, nutritious food is really a class issue. The USDA has identified income as a primary contributor to obesity, and studies have also found that those living in poverty are far more likely to live in a food desert, places where access to produce and grocery stores themselves are limited. This means that the poor are more likely to do their shopping at small corner stores, which stock cheap processed foods. For those who can afford and access a healthier diet, it is well worth the investment. Junk food might seem cheaper in the short term, but it can result in more healthcare costs down the road. The study senior author says that a healthy diet will go a long way to prevent chronic diseases and illness. This might be one reason why the poor also have more health problems than the rich. They're having trouble affording the cost of prevention. Thanks for joining me for D News, everyone. Do you find that healthier food costs more where you live? Tell me about it down below, and I'll see you next time.